Dear viewers, Drishti IS welcomes you to the new series of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is RFID tags. First of all, let's see why is it in the news. The government has decided to track all pilgrims for the forthcoming Amarnath Yatra using radio frequency identification that is RFID tags. Now let's discuss about RFID. RFID is a type of passive wireless technology that allows for tracking or matching of an item or individual. The system has two basic parts tags and readers. The reader gives off radio waves and gets signals back from the RFID tag. While the tag uses radio waves to communicate its identity and other information. The tags can carry encrypted information, serial numbers and short descriptions. There are also high memory tags like the ones designed for use in the aviation industry. A tag can be read from up to several feet away. RFID tag does not need to be within the direct line of sight of the reader to be tracked. The technology has been approved since before the 1970s. However, it has become much more prevalent in recent years due to its usages in things like global supply chain management and pet microchipping. Now let's have a look at the types of RFID. Active RFIDs use their own power source, mostly batteries. Active tags can ping information every few seconds like beckons or they can get activated when a reader is in the proximity. And passive RFIDs, these are activated through the reader using the electromagnetic energy it transmits. This is enough power for the tag to transmit information back to the reader. Active tags have a longer read range around 300 feet compared to passive tags. Now let's understand about the uses of RFIDs. Uses of RFIDs are retail giants use them for inventory tracking. RFID chips are used as access key in labs. The proposed e-passports are likely to be paper passports carrying RFID chips in the jacket. Currently, the fast tags being used for toll payments across the country are also RFID tags. Now lastly, let's discuss about the significance. Depending on data to be shared, grades of encryption can be introduced between the tag and the reader to verify credentials. Memory segments of the card can hold data encrypted with cryptographic keys. While a casual data theft is not possible, hackers can use side-channel attacks to extract the cryptographic information. But that is not easy to pull off given that tag manufacturers continue to improve security features. Now it's time for the practice question. Consider the following statements regarding radio frequency identification that is RFID technology. One. RFID is a type of passive wireless technology that allows for tracking or matching of an item or individual. 2. RFID tag does not need to be within the direct line of sight of the reader to be tracked. 3. Active RFIDs use their own power source, mostly batteries. Which of the statements given above are correct? 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only or 1, 2 and 3? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Dear viewers, watch this topic in Hindi on our Drishti IS Hindi YouTube channel.